evening and welcome in. I am just ready to leave Steinbach. Just making sure that my wheels are all turning. Yep, my wheels are all turning this morning. That's a good sign. Winter time, you want to always check your uh, trailer tires before you uh, get going, especially in winter time, you know. And uh, also, especially if you got a uh, empty trailer that you're picking up, you know. I always do a tug test to make sure that my uh, trailer is hooked up properly, you know. And then I also make sure that I look at my uh, trailer uh, tires to see if they're actually turning, you know. Because I've had that happen where the brakes are locked up, just like I had this last week. They were locked up in the morning when I was trying to get going, you know. And, uh, you know, as you probably saw, I got stuck. Well, you guys didn't see that I actually got stuck, but I told you guys about it. I figured I'd share that at least. But, uh, yeah, so we're off to uh, Lasser, Manitoba. Just got to scan my card here to get out of the yard, you know. There we go, so that way it opens the gate. But, uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful morning. Got the sun out this morning. I mean, it was... Uh, it was pretty uh, ice rain yesterday. Pretty uh, crappy all day, but hey, today seems to be a good day. At least much better than yesterday, you know. I'm just going to type this into my GPS here. So there we go. There we go. We are rolling. Yeah, the roads are still slippery, very slippery, that's for sure. Spinning almost every year. When I get going, you know, because uh, of all the ice rain that we had yesterday. Uh, it should be okay. They put lots of salt on, as I can see already, but uh, I only have about 95 kilometers to go, anyways, and then I'll be picking up my load and then. I'll be happy then I won't have to worry about the tires spinning as much at least then I'll have better traction you know just trying to get across here real quick yeah so we're going to go to Vassar and Manitoba and then we'll go pick up our uh, our load we'll do a life load up there and then uh, we'll go to Eau Claire Wisconsin yeah, it's a short trip, but I expected that because uh, it's Thanksgiving the week this week, you know. Well, I guess it was last week for you guys, because you guys are going to be watching this the week. Uh, this for week after I filmed this, right? But uh, this is the week of the United States Thanksgiving, so uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, we'll keep our. Uh, keep going here and uh, we'll see what the day will bring us hopefully we'll have a good day hopefully uh, I won't have to uh, wait too long at the border today to get uh, the border crossing cleared you know normally at this place we go to uh, uh, it is like five minutes away from the border or maybe seven minutes but it's very very close to the border and uh, you know once we pick up the load we gotta send in the paperwork to clear it to get accepted so we can go to the border and that usually takes at least uh, two hours before we get accepted so hopefully that won't be too crazy long today hopefully that will be sooner than, uh, than two hours sometimes you get lucky sometimes it's <coughs> oh excuse me Sometimes it's only uh, an hour that you have to wait. So if that's an hour, hey, that's not bad. Usually uh, it takes two hours. So uh, with that, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go there and we'll pick up our load, and then, uh, I guess we'll see you guys down the road. I don't know if you want to be able to see this or not, but uh, this highway is a sheer ice, just a sheet of ice. 
every gear it is spinning on my truck even on top gear if I step on it on the top gear it's just spinning I mean this is real super slick up here I'm gonna have to be super careful on this highway today yeah that's that's horrible we got we got quite a bit of ice rain yesterday and plus I'm empty it doesn't make it <laughs> any easier I just started uh, braking there a little bit there a little bit ago and I could see my trailer uh, uh, wheels were just sliding so yeah it was just that, that's this is super dangerous I have to be real careful that when I see a vehicle in front of me or whatever I'm going to have to slow down way in advance or when I have to do my turn off because I got to turn off off of this highway to uh, to go down that one uh, road there about a kilometer down the road there that's where we got to go pick up this load and I have to st start slowing down way in advance so that way I can you know make my turn there because that's this is super dangerous today, that's for sure. But that's what we have to deal with, especially as truckers. We get this kind of weather all the time. And this is the time of the year that it's, uh, you know, that can cause a lot of accidents. And I'm pretty sure there has been already a lot of accidents here today and yesterday. So I sure don't want to be involved in any of that. So uh, we'll try and keep her safe. Here we go, we made it across the border. Yeah, I had to wait another two hours before they even loaded me and then another hour and 15 minutes or so to get my border crossing cleared, you know? But hey, what are you gonna do, right? We are finally across the border and uh, we don't have that far to go. I only got 400 miles to go yet and then I'll be at my delivery place so uh, I'll probably make it to my delivery place probably by 8 or 9 o'clock tomorrow morning which will be uh, really good and uh, we'll see what we get from there I'm really hoping that uh, I'll get me a reload towards Toronto that way I can uh, you know get me some good miles on this week at least I know it's uh, you know, a little bit slower this week in the United States with loads so uh, hopefully at least I can get me a load towards Toronto that way eh, we can make some good money this week you know but uh, looks like they have put lots of salt down on the highways so now the, the roads are wet but not icy anymore so that's good that's a bonus at least uh, for me that's a bonus I guess it's worth waiting that little bit of time I guess down at the shipper if he get good roads you know but, uh, yeah so we'll uh, keep on rolling and we'll see you down the road hopefully you are joining me on my journey already I am in Swan River Minnesota right now just doing a pit stop just clean my lights all the snow and slush we've been having all day the ice and everything from all the salt the lights are really dirty and it is dark outside but uh, i'm just meeting up with my uh, buddy over here he drives for the same company as me and so we're gonna drive together we're going to the same place and everything you know so uh so yeah i'll grab me a bite to eat and then uh we'll see you guys later on well 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 we are finished for the day at least with the driving part we have made it about three quarters of a mile from the place where we deliver tomorrow morning yeah i'm real happy about that it's been a quite of a late night drive for me i usually don't drive this late it's about uh, 10 30 now i stopped here about quarter after 10. Yeah, I usually like to stop earlier than that, but hey, got a buddy of mine there who's driving the same distance, is going to the same place, so uh, eh, you know, figured may as well drive up to here. So we're all here, sitting here, ready for tomorrow morning doing our delivery, and then I guess we'll go do uh, our pickup at the uh, new place where we're going to go to, and then. 
we got a reload going to Toronto so we'll go do that tomorrow and with that I guess we'll uh, we'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. so thanks for watching.